man of distinct choices, a man who has disrupted the software and services industry and has inspired many by setting new trends. One who enjoys leadership in business and social philanthropy. Both examples that are hard to follow. Hailing from humble beginnings to carving out a niche by turning Ebix Incorporated into a leading name in the on-demand software and e-commerce services industry with 50 plus offices across five continents. This is the inspiring journey of Robin Reiner. Red and blue lights, a very loungish feeling. You feel like you are at Times Square, but this is in Noida. In the offices of a businessman, a visionary, a philanthropist. Let's talk to Robin Reiner. Robin, I love that suit, by the way. It's, a, it, it's as flamboyant as your office and as, you know, uh, different as somebody you have in your perception. Uh, let me ask you this. Are you trying to model yourself around Richard Branson? Tell me about this style, about, about having an office like this? See, I'm just trying to be me. <laughs> okay. Of course, I like Richard Branson. <laughs> okay. uh, at the same time, I'm just trying to be me. This is me. This is how I dress. This is how I work. I feel life is too short. Just live it. And that's how I try to live my life. Okay. Now, Robin, uh, over the last uh, three years or four years, uh, he's already invested about 750 million. Two years. Two years. 750 million US dollars in India? Absolutely. Now you're employing what? Eight, nine thousand people? Nine thousand plus people right now. Nine thousand plus people. So you're generating jobs, you're investing in this tech space. Where are you getting the money from? We say in business, a good start is selling price should be more than the cost price. If you can go back to that basic, what will happen is if the selling price is more than the cost price, you're going to make profits. Correct. And that money you can utilize for growing your business. So that's one for uh, for one. For any other, for, like any other company, we also borrow from time to time, but our leverage is very low. Uh, mm -hmm. We're one of the biggest buyers of our own stock. Uh, so I would like to say that uh, if you look at the last two decades of eBix, uh, you know this is a company with 20 years of sequential growth and uh, 1999, isn't it? When you started with uh, that's correct. Uh, eBix when it actually became eBix, it was an eBix, was it? No, it wasn't. It was Delphi Information yeah, Systems. Yeah, Delphi Information time. Systems, and that becomes eBix, and then eBix Incorporated, and and then you break the bank as far as Wall Street is concerned, make your arrival. The other question I'm going to ask you: Are you creating jobs, or are you only acquiring jobs? Are you only acquiring companies? You are acquiring, buying out revenue, and then turning it out. You know. Uh, tweaks of management and uh, we're, we're uh, absolutely and, and then uh, and then you're creating jobs i'm just saying out of the 9000 9000 odd plus people you say that you're employing how many jobs have you created well we are we're continually creating jobs look it's not only india what we are doing we are the first company mnc in the financial sector who's actually taking the intellectual property first building ip in india then taking it to the rest of the world under an Indian brand. Hmm. So what we are doing, if we go into Dubai or a Philippines or an Indonesia or a London, we're actually putting all the, while we do the work there, we hire majority of the people in India hmm. to service that business. So we're very India centered. So that by itself creates jobs. But uh, what's your goal? Have you, have you set a, you know, a, a financial roadmap or landmark for India? Now that you've come into this market, you're spending a lot of time here. Uh, in terms of investments, in terms of portfolio, in terms of job creation, is there a timeline, is there a goal that you've set for yourself? Well, from a financial perspective, look, our immediate goal is we want to do an IPO for our India a company sometime either end of this year or the beginning of next year. Mm. I think the short-term goal is we presently ex uh, service a, a gross merchandise value of around $15 billion in India. Mm. Uh, our goal is to try and double that up over the next two years. Uh, in the short term, in terms of net revenues, we would like to see India, India alone be at $600 million. Uh, by fourth quarter, we would like to see a annualized, so what I mean by that is Q4 2019, I'd like to see $150 million a quarter of revenue. Quarter so that we are $600, $600 million. Now that's, that's not gross revenue, gross yeah. will be in billions. I'm talking about net revenue, net money revenue. that we earn out of that business. My goals are rather simple. I always believe in simplicity. So one of the things I believe in is that if you're going to create a business, mm. if you have 600 million in revenue, 
I want to have $180 million of income associated with it. I'm public about it uh, because I don't feel there's any shame in making money and being having so, operating income. So, so you income. keep the style quotient high, so there's no simplicity as far as the style is concerned, <laughs> but you keep the business principles very, very simple. This is one of those Kashmiris who's doing very, very well. For those who believe the Kashmiris are not doing very well, this is, this is Robin Raida here is as Kashmiri as you can get and he's doing very, very well and that's why they're so proud of him. But I'm asking you, you've, you've settled in the US, the world was your playground, why choose India? Well, I'll tell you, it's a great question actually. You see, if today India has reached a stage where as an entrepreneur, if I don't take a position in India, I'll be left out. Hmm. I say this to the top MNCs in the US. When Mr. Modi was traveling and meeting the Googles and Microsofts of the world, I was saying this publicly. I was saying, look, it's not a favor that anybody is going to do by making an investment in India. If they don't, they're going to be left out. India is going to keep moving forward. You're talking about a country which today is growing at 75 to 8%. Which other country is growing at that rate today? So we got to give credit to Mr. Modi in terms of the Make in India vision of what he's trying to do with respect to that. So I'm one of those who felt when I heard Mr. Modi talk and I've seen personally the change that India has gone through lately uh, since Mr. Modi took over. Uh, I knew this was the time to enter India. Robin, uh, outside of the flamboyance and outside of what we see, uh, there are certain things which you're doing which is for society, which is for people. So I just quickly want you to tell me uh, why are you doing what you're doing and, and we'll also tell, show our viewers what you're doing through the Robin Dryna Foundation. I was relatively young when I decided that I want to try and help the underprivileged. Hmm. Um, I, I don't see... It, I was relatively young when I realized that pain feels the same everywhere across the world. How many years do I have to live? Yeah. I don't know. 10 years, 15 years, 20 years? I don't know what that is. So let's take 20 years. And I did a maths for myself. If I really wanted to live lavishly, how much money do I need? Six million dollars, three hundred thousand dollars a year, but I have a lot more than six million. So yeah. why do I have that? I would like to do something for the underprivileged in my own lifetime. I'd like yeah. to burn that money away, give it away in my own lifetime so that an institution can survive. So that's what we have been trying to do when we build these homes or have provide schools and educate kids in any part of India or the world. Uh, the goal is to bring a little bit of smile on people's faces. Well, the blind school and, and what he's doing with uh, students, some very, very special students, and more importantly, a project which is what, about $20 million in terms of the overall size uh, in one little pocket borough of the national capital. He's trying to build 6,000 homes. We'll go straight across and continue this conversation with Robin Raina in Bawana. <laughs>
but uh, a little bird tells me that the first school was on wheels when yes. it all started from an anganwadi and then thereafter you had school on wheels that's absolutely true we built up a school on wheels and the main reason was every time we would create a school in the slums uh, government bulldozers would come in and they would destroy the school uh, basically they said that we can't just let you put up a school in a slum area uh, without having legal land but how would i get legal land how do i provide a school if there's no land available so we were renting the slums and creating these schools so we put a school on wheels every time they would come in to crush it within minutes our guys would go and open up the school thing and move it out to a different place and then from there on from schooling and giving these children education and uh, a lot of people have benefited i also saw the reception that you got when you came in and and i was speaking to some of the locals and they said that you built houses for them it's a project that you have undertaken talk us through that so basically you know as we started providing this education here soon enough another another year and a half and two years i realized one thing which is the kids were really not staying put the kids would come into school in another six months as they were getting educated their parents would move the parents were like nomads because they were looking for livelihood it occurred to me what if we provide the permanent homes and some means of livelihood these are the two things i thought if we provide them they, they would stay there their kids would get better education so that's where i conceptualized this project so i conceptualized the dream project that what if we build homes for everybody here at that time we ran a census and it was 6000 homes so what we came up with was if we build 6000 homes there would be no slum this area is called jugi jopdi jj colony uh, bavana jugi jopdi colony i want to remove that word jugi jopdi from this area today 30% of it is not a slum we have already built and handed over 2304 homes we still have a long way to go to build 6000 homes but i think 30% of the area is not a slum anymore is not it, that's phenomenal robin raina you know it's fantastic coming here and uh, hopefully you know we will also be able to showcase the work that you have done for the people out there do you plan to stop it my final question to you here before we move on and th there's more that we need to share Are you going to stop at six thousand houses, or, 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 or then you're going to move on to something else? Well, I, I would move on to something else. Look, I think first dream is to finish this project. I want to remove this Jugi Jopri name from here, and I believe me, if we are able to do it, we would have. My goal is to inspire people. I'm not going to change the country in one go or something like that. At the same time, it's one inch at a time. Like, yeah. I, I want if people should see and say, if Robin Raina can do it, what's the big deal? there are which richer people than me in india today meaning we have the, all the big billionaires out there if each one of them started contributing the appeal that i make to all everybody is as an individual whether you whatever amount of money you make just try and contribute a bit towards the cause of the underprivileged right the women here itself have started forming their own kitty and they're trying to self finance each other and they're also coming together as self help groups to try and help a lot of these women so there are some many you know there are many stories that i have come to know just because i have taken that effort to come here along with robin to see the work that he is actually doing so when he makes a claim you know you want to wet it and when you wet it and you realize that it's actually happening and you can see it behind us you want to say all right you know there is there is something special we're going to take a very very short break on the other side there's another aspect more lives that the robin rana foundation has touched stay with us taking each philanthropic activity beyond just benevolence and staying true to his passion for social well-being robin raina has emerged as the voice of the have nots worldwide with his single-minded dedication to providing hope to the deprived sections of society today his foundation supports all talented and deserving kids passing out of the blind relief association school financially through the masters program in top colleges of india robin raina foundation ki baat hai to Uh, जब हम लोग स्कूल में ही थे तभी से हम uh, इस फाउंडेशन का नाम सुनते आए हैं हमारे जो सीनियर्स थे उन्होंने हमें बताया था क्योंकि वो लोग भी जब कॉलेज uh, में गए थे तो उन्हें इस फाउंडेशन के से स्कॉलरशिप मिली तो उन्हें हॉस्टल फीस और कॉलेज फीस पे करने में बहुत हेल्प मिली थी हमारे अंदर किसी किसी को फील होगा कि हाँ इसका फ्यूचर ब्राइट है तो इसको सपोर्ट करना चाहिए स्टडी 
को हेल्प करने के लिए जो इस तरह की स्कॉलरशिप्स हैं वो बहुत ज़रूरी हैं ताकि समाज में एक बराबर का दर्जा बनाने में ये हमें हेल्प करती रहे Welcome back, and uh, this is a very, very special place, ladies and gentlemen. This is some. Uh, this is a place where Robin Reiner has been uh, coming since 2003, and he's been touching some very, very important lives. These lives know their politics very well. They're very good in art. They're very keen on sport. But more importantly, they've been looking out for an avenue that gives them perhaps a platform that allows them to leap and take flight. Robin, talk us through uh, the Blind Relief Association and your association. Uh, you know, uh, what we do. Work with them, and what's the kind of work that you do? I think we've been associated with the Blind Relief Association since 2003, and uh, Blind Relief Association is, uh, I think, it started by Helen Keller in 1955, if I remember correctly. And it's a, uh, they've done. Uh, I've seen firsthand what Blind Relief Association has done in transforming the lives of the underprivileged, the lives of the uh, the blind kids. And what I have personally experienced is that once you transform the life of one one kid. You've actually created an ecosystem. You have created a support system because each of these kids, each of these kids, stands up for their brethren. They stand up for the for the next generation as also for all the kids around them. Right. And that by itself has been the most uh, humbling experience for me over the last 16 years that I've been associated with the blind. You, you've been in touch with some of these kids since 2003, from the time they, uh, you know, after they finished their 10th and 12th. You, he's been telling me that he's still in touch with them. I've got Gaurav here from Gaurav. Namaste. Rab, tell me, how did you get help from the foundation? Sir, from the foundation, I mean, first we heard from our singers, those who are singers, who told us that they are the Robin Rana sir, they give the first year to third year scholarship. तो फिर हमने पता चला तो हमने कहा चलो ये तो अच्छी चीज है कि भाई सेक कॉलेज में आकर हमें हेल्प मिलेगी जो कि कॉलेज में थोड़ा सा मतलब स्कूल से हट जाते हैं तो थोड़ा सा खर्चे जो है वो थोड़ा सा एक्स्ट्रा हो जाते हैं और फिर स्पोर्ट्स वगैरह भी करना है और कॉलेज थोड़ा सा मतलब खर्चे जो थोड़े से ज्यादा हो जाते हैं कॉलेज में बुक्स वगैरह भी खरीदनी होती है वहाँ पर क्योंकि यहाँ पे तो हमें स्कूल से मिल जाती है तो काफी हेल्प होती है शाबुद्दीन मेरे साथ बैठे शाबुद्दीन ये आप माइक पकड़िए और बताइए आप क्या करते हैं सर गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू एक्चुअली आई एम फ्रॉम रामजस कॉलेज हिस्ट्री ऑनर्स एंड आई एम आल्सो प्लेयर एंड एथलेटिक्स 100 मीटर 200 मीटर एंड 400 मीटर एंड आल्सो आई प्ले जूडो एंड अभी अभी मैंने गोरखपुर में सिल्वर मेडलिस्ट रहा हूँ इन जूदों में नेशनल लेवल हाँ वी प्लेड फुटबॉल एंड ही वाज़ द टॉप स्कोरर इन द फुटबॉल मैच इन द हॉल ऑफ़ दैट एंड ही यस ही वन आई मीन वी वन फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रुपीस दैट टाइम वी वी स्टूड सेकंड ओह फंटास्टिक यू गेट एंड दिस इ are you a first year student or you are a first year student? Yeah, good morning to all. I am Vishwabandhu. Studying in Hansraj College and doing BA Honours History first year right now. First year right now. But I heard you talking to Robin before the cameras were rolling and you said that you have some other interest beyond sport. Do you do Kavita? Yeah, I do a little bit of poetry and I sing a little bit as well. So, do you want to listen to something? What would you like to listen? Whatever you feel like. Poetry. आपने वॉर पे लिखा था अभी। वॉर पे सुना दीजिए। अच्छा अच्छा तो ऐसा है कि एक मतलब और एक शेर है कि देश में जब राजनीति जो कि बहुत ही गरमाजी जाती है तो क्या होता है कि भूखा मांगे रोटी मिया सियासत है रोटी है जब घाटी कहाँ सियासत है और राजनीति को छोड़ अगर कुछ काम करूँ तो कह दोगे छोड़ो मिया सियासत है क्या बात है थैंक यू बहुत अच्छे वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस 2013 नाउ यू आर इन 2000 2003 एंड 2019 सो अबाउट 16 इयर्स एंड 320 स्टूडेंट्स हु बीन टच्ड बाय द रॉबिन राना फाउंडेशन बट द एस्पिरेशंस समटाइम्स इंस्पायर यू आई आई एम फीलिंग इंस्पायर्� of what I learned from them each and every day. I mean, they, uh, the humility, the support system they bring, the, the desire to keep moving forward, the sincerity. I always say this to people. I say that we as human beings, we think we can see and yet we don't see. And if you look at them, they see things a lot more clearly than each one of us yeah. do. Says that I've had, when it's my birthday on uh, 31st of July, each year, the first calls I receive are from two kids 
uh, one is Anup Bengra, who's I just spoke to. Uh, he's in uh, Bank of Allahabad as a cashier and in Chandigarh. Uh, so he couldn't come in today. But he's, uh, you know, he's the first kid who calls me. The other one is Varun. Hmm. Varun, I think, is works for Microsoft now, the software developer. Now that's an inspiring story. And here is the developer. Here's the kid who started from here, became a graphic visualizer. Imagine. And now is earning six six figure salaries through his talent and through doing graphic visualization. So that's also an inspirational story. Har bache ke liye yahan pe ek inspiration. Varun ek inspiration hona chahiye ki Varun ne kya karke dikhaya hai ki wo software development kar raha hai, 3D modeling kar raha hai, jo bahut zada mushkil hote hai. To wo waisi chizhe bahut inspiring hai mere liye. Chief, Rob Nana, fantastic. You know, having you here at the Blind Relief Association, Thank and you. I think there are many more uh, expectations from the Robin Ryder Foundation, and hope you continue to live up to that. Thank one. you.